Glad to have you join us on Art House. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Coming up on today's program. Stamps of Memory, a solo exhibition at My Dream Gallery in Lagos. Then in another part of the commercial city, contemporary works of art go under the auctioneer's hammer. Then we enjoy the first recycled exhibition done by artists in and out of Nigeria. It's a loaded package on this week's episode. More details after we hear from our wordsmith for this week, who is celebrating his profession. Our wordsmith for this week is by Favor Chigbo, titled Mechatronic Engineer, and the artwork is by Chimela Chelua. I'm an engineer, not just any engineer, a mechatronic engineer. I don't just bear it as a title, I embody it and consider it vital. And this now is my identity, an entity identified by digital multimeters, soldering irons and wire cutters. This is my individuality. We go through pain, putting our minds and hands to work, using the lath machine to do the metal work, individually or as a team. We work to someday develop and build mechanical slash electrical products that will better make our world work. Yes, we operate machines that could kill, but this is how we pay our bills. I'm an engineer, not just any engineer, a mechatronic engineer, wired to pioneer. Thank you, our wordsmith, for penning that down. Now to our first feature. Stamps of Memory is an exhibition of works of art by a contemporary artist who is sharing stories of different experiences at the My Dream Gallery in Lagos. It's contemporary artist Morakio Oluafemi's debut exhibition at the My Dream Gallery in Lagos titled Stamps of Memory. As the name implies, it takes the viewers on a journey from the past to the present. I do basically nostalgia acts with a um, lot of vintage feeling. My painting is all about reviving your old memories because I feel like what's really happening now, people have forgotten how we started life. Like um, seeing my works, you can see there's one titled um, Jello Simi. In the painting, you see a child carrying a slate. But now people are fond of using tablets and all that. So it's about to bring your memory back about when life was still easier. A lot of works of art capture moments from the golden oldies, items that will certainly resonate with people who were around during that period are seen in this nostalgic exhibition. When you see my works, I want you to connect with your background. See my works, you see the architectures, the Colossibo gates, how we used to, how we used to leave the old cars, the vintage um, clothes, fabrics. When I, was, when I was young, my dad used to collect stamps, postage stamps. So that's what part of the things that initiated my heart. I don't want you to connect with your background because without you understanding your background, you can't know your future. Blast to the past, because these are the stories you hear your parents and your grandparents say that this is how Nigeria was. 
was back then, and that's the hope we're trying to now achieve, that we want to get back to those good old days, uh, we're trying to recreate those good old days. So this is a reminder that, yeah, Nigeria was a good place, not now, but back then it was something worth living or striving for. So that's what his works, how his works speak to me. different, phenomenal. They are nothing like you've ever seen before, you know. They are revolutionary, so to speak, you know. For you to take things that are not, almost no longer in existence and try to create things from them, I think it's a beautiful thing. Record player, sewing machine, old vehicles and architecture, as well as fashion elements of the 80s and 90s are just a part of what's on display. Is that distinctive because you don't really see that this kind of style anywhere else so once you see the way he combines colors and his subjects and everything you know that yes it's, this is Morak this is Morak's work and that is and the medium he chooses the painting and then what he's trying to describe with you the stamp work yeah you know it's him so distinctive that's how I'll describe it the stamp idea behind the works uh, and then also you see a lot of um, things that have maybe gone out of fashion right now you know you have the transistor radio and uh, I think there was one I saw the car to the 504 right a bit of a nostalgic uh, you know, throwback you know, to the past and then the, even the stamps, the idea of stamps I don't know when last you went to the post office to post a letter I, 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 have, I don't think I've, in the last 10 to 15 years I don't think I've <laughs> got to the post office to post any letter so it's kind of like a, a, a throwback into the not too distant past, but it also tells you how much how things have changed over the years. The artist believes everyone can learn a lot from the past in order to resolve the present and face the future. I'm, I'm happy by the works I'm seeing, uh, and the title of the show, which is a uh, stamp of many. Yeah, I really love what I'm seeing. You know, it takes me back memory lane. Some things we did. You know, back then, uh, for some of us who were born in the in the eighties, <laughs> we saw some things. I've seen some things that you know remind me of you know way back. I want people to me. I see my work. I want people to connect with how things were, how we grew up, how we live, how things were being done. Now we are in a fast fast paced world. People, internet has taken over everything. If our life was more simpler. This senior art director who is into advertising, specialized in painting at Yaba College of Technology, also known as Yaba Tech, brings back the good old days, which has been the inspiration behind his solo show. Still in Lagos, an auction of works of art done by the old and new in the creative industry took place in order to boost the secondary market. Raising the continent's profile and building a larger community of art collectors and investors has birthed this art auction in Lagos by Art Split, which is adding to the number of auction houses in the country, exploring all angles virtually and physically to treat viewers to amazing African works of art. Art Split, as you know, is a technology-based um, art um, platform which is focused on elevating and enhancing the quality of um, African arts with respect to their investment status. I think what they are doing is to give more value to Nigerian art and uh, 
their platform, you'll find that um, many more people can own blue chip works of art. And in that way, you know, it moves the art industry forward because then you begin to see art not just for aesthetic purposes, but you also see it, you know, as a good store of value and as part of an investment bouquet. So I think that uh, it's a very excellent development and we're very proud and very happy to be identified with art sports. The unique thing about this platform is that the split allows many people to co-own an iconic piece. For instance, Ogolo, a work done by veteran artist Ben Nwamu, is on the spotlight at this inaugural physical auction. Well, it's a 1977 oil on canvas, more. It's an Onicha masquerade. Um, for many um, scholars, I mean, Ben Nwamu started painting masquerades as early as 1949. Uh, he stands easily as Africa's greatest artist, having been hailed by the international press as early as the 1940s, when anyone was indeed um, Nigeria's first professor of art, and uh, the Queen sat for him in 1957, 12 sittings in all, five at Buckingham Palace and seven at the private studio, you know, at Maidaville in, uh, in London, in UK. Um, Abogumo is, uh, for me, uh, the epitome of his paintings because uh, um, it, em it embraces the Onicha Masquerade Pantheon. And uh, you see the movement, you see the costume, you see, you know, I think the Masquerade for me is um, um, an all-embracing art form because you see sculpture on the mask, you see the costume, you see the performance in the dance, you see, you know, uh, the music by the reverberating drums in the background. You see all of that. And, you know, ancestors, you know, are believed to come in the form of Masquerade. You know, and they join us, you know, to celebrate in the community. You know, so this is an artist who was able to capture their movement and rhythm. So that work is a very, very important piece. And uh, I want to wish those who are bidding on it good luck because not only will they enjoy the piece, but it's an excellent story of value. Beyond that image, which reflects and celebrates the African identity, several other lots from renowned and contemporary African artists are being auctioned as well. There are a lot of African arts uh, that are in the market at the moment that were done by, by undervalued and underappreciated artists at the time of their lifetime. So uh, this particular artist that is actually on the market has a lot of work that is entitled because during his existence when he was painting and crafting, no one actually believed that he was a trained artist and no one actually believed it was him who was actually doing this. So we are starting, as much as we are starting from grassroots, we are also starting from grassroots authentic African African masters. So it's a celebration of people that have not really previously been given a chance to shine and we're bringing them up and saying, yes, you are now in the market. Yes, you are now being seen as a master, but we want to actually take it back to the grassroots at a time when nobody gave you a space to sign, to say, here you are in your full awe and we honor you and what you stand for as far as the art community is concerned. Nigerians we've, and Africa as a whole, we've celebrated art uh, as a part of our culture. What this does is open up the, the, the industry, open up the access to art for people to celebrate and for people to also enjoy it. But most importantly, for people to make some money from it. Um, Nigerians, we know we, Nigerians, we, lo we love money. Yeah. We love making money. So this is one other avenue for us to make money, but also at the same time, celebrate our culture. The goal is to up the profile of African works of art and make people realize the investment potentials that lies within, besides its aesthetic appeal. Lovely images there, and it's a good thing to watch the secondary market grow. It's essential for the art industry in Nigeria, and we are making some big wins across the globe. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Do stay with us. Welcome back. Let's see the works of art that made the cut this week, enjoying some of the works done by the young hands. And then we hear from our art quote, which is always by a veteran in the industry. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. Let's begin with this one done by Baba Tunde. He calls it Bata Drama. It's rendered in acrylic on canvas. Then Caricature is a work by Mukta Yusuf, a digital art painting. 
is a digital art painting as well by Uluwa Bamishi. While the Girl Child is a work done by Eyitayo Alagbe in mixed media. Then this ballpoint pen on paperwork is done by Ola Olajiri. It's called self-attraction. Our Daily Bread is an oil on canvas piece by Samson. Adam Zimano has this sculptural piece done with mild steel. It's called Udu. Then this geometric art called self-aggrandizement is done by Will's art with different pens on paper. Ireti is done by Mark Duke with oil on canvas. While today we sit at home is an oil on canvas work as well by Elijah Gottfried. concludes the works of art you sent in this week we always appreciate you for sending them in and we encourage you to keep them coming scraps metals and other found objects have turned to amazing works of art in this art festival in lagos the world. That's the sub-theme for the 2022 Art Miyabo International Art Festival, which is the first of its kind, featuring about 24 artists from Africa and Europe, all showing their dexterity using the most basic objects. We got about 1,600 applications for this project when we put it out and um, we were able to pick 24, not say 24 of the best, but 24 people who embody recycling, who work with recycling objects. And so it's all about um, discarded objects turned into sophisticated art, not you know somebody just paints the plastic or cuts it somehow, no. You pick something that is discarded and you turn it into something that is more value, more and much, much more value than it was before. For instance, let's say a plastic that you picked that is like, you know, 20 naira or 30 naira and now you're able to sell it for as much as 5,000 naira. That's massive. So we're sending a message here. We're trying to reset the minds of everyone. It's not necessarily Nigerians. I mean, because this is an international exhibition that will be going to Johannesburg after now in November. So we're trying to set a message to say recycling is the new now. Sustainable living is the new now. It's the reason why why companies are putting aside funds to support causes like this. I can only say that it's a really wonderful event that's been pulled together by Miabo Eyadike and she's done a stellar job in pulling together artists from across the world and you know it's the first of its kind in that it's all about remaking the world. Using photography, painting, video art, installation, sculpture, and more, creatives push for a better world, showing what they envision through these images displayed at the space in Lagos. I try to see things or shoot things which many people don't even see. And uh, it's, it's amazing that, that somebody told me that when she saw the work, so yeah, I didn't even understand and know that such a beauty is here. Yeah, so I, I try to catch things, beauty in Nigeria, which, which, which gives you a very special emotion. One of 
the scene is from uh, the center of Lagos with a traffic jam, a lot of people in the street, a lot of noise. And he, he paints uh, his painting with a point. So it's, uh, it's a longer work to, to paint a big, uh, a, a big canvas like this. And the last one from uh, Abidjan, is, uh, his name is Frank Ngoran. He paints a lot of faces and subject, politics subject, uh, and, and he paints uh, with a lot of colors. It's very dynamic, dynamic. I'm showcasing my unposed photography. That is images that are taken mostly without the subjects knowing that they're being taken and um, created basically into works of art. It's everyday scenes that you might not otherwise think twice about, but I'm inviting the audience to have another look and just see that there's beauty in every second. The works of art done by veteran artist Bruce Onobrakwaya have also been singled out for honor, especially as the mentor turns 90 in a few months. The visuals that are represented by Nigerian artists are a lot richer than in South Africa. Our artists seem to um, do very simplistic images. They love faces, not much background, very neutral backgrounds. Uh, whereas I find that in Nigeria the art is, is, is a lot more intense, um, there's a lot more depth to it, uh, the images are very rich, there's a lot to look at. You can take one image and really explore it for long, look at it really nicely. Um, um, so, yeah. The Nigerians are the ones that are truly creating something out of nothing. They are the ones that we should be admiring because they are the ones that are truly creating something out of nothing in a country where they are not supported in any way. Other countries, the artists get grants. You know, they, they, they get all sorts of grants that supports them. All sorts of grants to do exhibitions, all sorts of grants to do recycling, but ours are not. And so the Nigerian artist, for me, I think is the one that we should give the thumbs up for because that's why I'm starting the exhibition here because they are the ones we should appreciate. Recycling or upcycling is the new darling in the art industry as creatives are encouraged to use found objects to create thought-provoking works of art, saving money and also the environment. <laughs> interesting and for what to anticipate next time take a look still to come on art house my nigeria oh yes today i have come to pay you homage we see the grand finale of the national troop auditions from thespians across the country <laughs> to an art salon of paintings Mixed media and panel works by multimedia artist Chinze Ojobo. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing, and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. We appreciate you for always being with us and look forward to being with you next time. Till then, you know where to find us. Just check out any of our social media platforms where the conversation continues as always. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Have a lovely day.